here. I want to bring you this really cool case report that was just released in the medical journal called Neurology. This is a case out of China of a one-year-old child that was experiencing motor delay with an inability to sit up on their own. So a workup was done and this is the CT scan of their head and brain. Uh, inside the brain you can see this mass here and within that mass is a fetus. Yes, a fetus. This is a case of fetus in fetu. Let's discuss. So when this child presented for evaluation due to their inability to sit up on their own, a physical exam also showed there was an enlarged head circumference, which is this measurement right around here. No other signs or symptoms were noted. So a head CT and MRI were both ordered. And on both of those imagings, uh, a vertebral column was noted within this uh, child's brain. You can see that vertebral column right there. And there was also a femur and a tibia. Imaging also showed that this fetus inside this child's brain also had spina bifida and uh, upper limbs and finger-like buds. Now this mass was noted to be intracranial, which, which means within the skull, and also intraventricular, which means within the ventricular system of the brain. And this is a diagram of the ventricular system of the brain. The ventricles of the brain contain cerebrospinal fluid. Now the ultimate findings of the uh, head CT and MRI of this child showed that the child had hydrocephalus, which is increased cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, they also had a compressed brain and the intraventricular fetiform mass. Now when surgery was done to remove this mass, this is ultimately what they removed. And you can see the arms, the finger buds, uh, you can't see the spine or the spina bifida, but this is what is the fetiform mass. Now, fetus of V2 is a very, very rare anomaly. It occurs at about 1 in 500,000 live births. And it occurs in monochorionic diamniotic twin gestations, which uh, result from one fertilized embryo that splits into identical uh, twin fetuses with a shared placenta and a thin dividing membrane in between. Now, overall in the literature, about 200 cases of fetus and V2 have been reported with most of these cases with the fetus of the uh, twin being inside the abdomen of the other one, but there are a few case reports of it being in the brain or intracranial. It is unclear what the exact mechanism or process uh, occurs that causes fetus and V2 to develop. Now there is some controversy as to whether or not these cases of fetus and P2 are actually more like cases of a well-organized uh, or mature teratoma. However, the presence of an axial skeleton and with, with vertebral axis and an appropriate arrangement of limbs and organs go more in favor of fetus and P2. Now there was a recent case out of India in October 2022 where there was a case report of a fetus and P2 with eight fetuses and P2 in one individual. So I'm going to look that one up and I'll bring it to you.